much fun. Hello, Fanfare 2008! Welcome! Thank you all so much for coming out. My name is John Smedley. I want to officially welcome you all to Fanfare 2008 here in Vegas. Thank you. Now, this is our favorite event of the year. We always walk away really pumped up, completely excited. Our staff gets to come out here from all over the world. And what's really exciting is that we get to spend time with all of you, the fans that really make this worth doing. Thank you very much again for coming. Now today you're going to get to see some really exciting things and hear about some stuff, some big news that many people out there have not had a chance to see in person. First up though, I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the programs that we've had ongoing throughout the past year. So a lot of you may have seen this summer that we embarked on the largest promotion in our company's history in reaching out to more than 4 million past and present EverQuest and EverQuest 2 players, our purpose was simple, to celebrate all our players, both past and present, new and old, that are continuing to enjoy the EverQuest legacy. In EverQuest, players were able to experience custom-created raid content that pitted them against epic enemies and let them relive old thrills with updated versions of classic zones like Lower Guck and Blackborough, and EverQuest 2 players were treated to the new heroic Runny Eye Zone, two Void Storm events, and the upcoming Vexstar Group Zone, and the Guild Halls unveiling. Now both games also began to reveal lore and storylines throughout the Prelude events that pro provided you a glimpse into the upcoming content for the future expansions here. Now this idea of celebrating our players was carried on both outside the game as well as with the print and online advertising that we use to promote the program. The people that are highlighted in the ad campaign are actually players, and these photos were taken right here this time last year at Fanfare. Now, I'm sure most of you have seen them, but if not, here are a few that represent all of you. And I'd like to thank all of you, the players, our communities, and the hardworking teams here at SOE, we're very proud to tell you that this program brought about a 20% increase in the populations of both EverQuest and EverQuest 2. It was a very successful program. Thank you to all of you. Thank all of you for being the living legacy and helping to make EverQuest and EverQuest 2 the huge franchises that they are today. Now I'd like to talk about EverQuest. Now, EverQuest is still going strong as ever. We're very dedicated to EQ. It's a game that started it all, and we're coming up on an exciting milestone, and it's one that I, I honestly never expected to see. The 10th anniversary of the launch of EverQuest is coming up in March. And as we're going towards that, I've got some really, really exciting news to announce. SOE is proud to announce the upcoming EverQuest expansion, Seeds of Destruction, which is launching on October 21st. I'd like to bring on stage Clint Worley, the senior producer for EverQuest, to walk you through the new expansion. We're going to be debuting it here for the first time ever to our most loyal players, you. Clint? everyone. I just want to thank you guys all for coming out. It's been a year since I've seen most of you, so it's good to see all you guys and the new people. 
Uh, so let's talk about the expansion. Uh, 15th expansion of the EverQuest franchise, like John said, is going to uh, debut on October 21st. We're really happy about it. Um, we've got renewed focus on quality. Uh, many of you that played Secrets of Fade were uh, can attest to, you know, We've been focusing on bug counts, live issues, things like that. Uh, so we're really kind of carrying that out with the polish on Seeds of Destruction. Um, each expansion, uh, i got to tell you guys, is a direct result of a brainstorming session that happens with the entire EQ team. So the programmers, artists, designers, everyone sits down and we kind of come up with these ideas. And uh, this one specifically, I think, really kind of pulled at the heartstrings of the development team and both um, we're hoping the players because we're kind of rekindling fond memories of uh, EverQuest the way that, that it was before even the initial launch. Uh, so the expansion will start you in a, a seemingly distant void uh, with a single figure standing in front of a, a small tree sapling uh, that is really all that's left of Norath. Uh, the character and the sapling he's tending to play a, a very vital role in the expansion uh, that you'll kind of uncover through your adventures. So uh, you'll be adventuring through multiple portals uh, in this void uh, zone that'll take you back to some of the greatest moments in EverQuest history. Uh, many of you obviously know Kinos. Uh, you'll be going back to uh, a little village that was, you know, soon would be Kinos, but you'll you'll be visiting that. You'll either, um, you'll also go to the Battle of Bloody Kithakor. Um, there's many other things like that you'll be kind of partaking in this expansion, so it'll be great. Anyway, you'll be partaking in the history of uh, EQ and making sure the gods of Discord stay at bay. For the first time in EQ, we'll um, also be releasing a preview of the expansion. And this is going to be available to all the players, but we thought it would be a great, a great way for players that are at that level of content and also players that aren't at that level of content to, to sample what this expansion is going to be able to offer. So you'll be able to explore two areas in the Seeds of uh, Destruction expansion. Uh, play through some of the content, check out the zones, and see you know some of the things that we've got planned. So it would be really good. Uh, we thought it would be a great way for everyone to check it out before launch. Um, one of the new uh, exciting features that I'd like to announce, you know, I've, I've heard some rumors going around the boards. Um, I never know how you guys find out everything, but um, the, the major feature for this expansion is going to be mercenaries. Uh, the development team's been focused on it. Uh, we're, we're really happy with it. It's in our, our QA departments. It's looking really good. Uh, basically, mercenaries is going to be uh, player-controlled NPCs that you can hire, and they're available to, to stand by you while you're fighting. Um, the role archetypes will scale to the appropriate level, and uh, will think and act for themselves um, with some limited control from the players. Uh, they're basically designed for extra support and extra muscle in PvP, or I'm sorry, PvE. Um, and uh, they'll give you a variety of classes that are, that are playable from the uh, you know, in-game classes or in-game in NPCs. Um, but there's also going to be some uh, non-playable races that will be available as well. So we'll go ahead and check out the video.